Hello my dear students and friends. I Dr. Chitra Panikkar welcome you all to Biology. The aim of the second part of introduction to biology is to introduce you to the hierarchical levels in biology. Study of all living organisms is called biology. Biology is a vast subject which includes many subdisciplines of science. Scientists have divided it into levels of ascending hierarchy. These levels are called as hierarchy of life or biological organization. This organization is based on the principle of emergence where a new property and function emerges as the levels increase. This levels starts from the most simplest to the most complex like biosphere. All living organisms are highly organized and they all follow a hierarchical pattern including the unicellular ones. The pattern of hierarchy is as given below. It is a common belief that our body is made up of head hands eyes legs etc but we are actually made up of atoms and molecules at the most basic level atoms and molecules are parts of all living organisms in fact atoms are the fundamental units of all matter when some of these atoms come together they form molecules atoms are the smallest part of a substance that can exist by itself while molecules are the most basic structure of all living organisms when many large and complex biomolecules come together they form cell organelles organelles are small tiny structures that perform function within a cell like mitochondria nucleus etc Cell is a structural and functional unit of an organism. They are microscopic in size. The cell is a major site for all metabolic activities in the body. It is smallest living thing that can replicate and function itself. Living organisms can be made up of single or many cells. Unicellular organisms like bacteria are called prokaryotes. They possess a nucleus which is not surrounded by any membrane. Eukaryotes like human, plants, birds have a membrane bound organelles. In case of plant cells, the cell walls are rigid whereas in animals the cells are flexible. Multicellular organisms exhibit three levels of increasing complexity when similar looking cells come together as a group to perform a common function they form tissues example muscle tissue correspondingly when two or more tissues come together they form an organ in case of plants flowers stems are organs and in animals heart liver kidney etc are termed as organs when many different organs come together to perform a certain process or function we call it as organ system example digestive nervous and many other system perform different function but work together as a unit to keep the organism alive an organism is a living thing that contains cells tissues organs and organ system that function together an organism can be multicellular like humans even unicellular like bacteria species are organisms that look similar interbreed to produce fertile offspring when many individuals of a species come together in a given place they form a population The number of individuals in a population are affected by birth, death, migration and many other factors. Lion, tiger, leopard, cat are different species of animals. A biological community 
develops when different species come together in a given area and interact with each other. Interactions may be negative, positive or even neutral. In a given community, some species may be dominant and more abundant than others. A forest with trees, birds, insects, monkeys, tigers represent a biological community. Ecosystem is the total of all the living organisms and their interaction with non-living and physical components of the environment. Ecosystem is also known as ecological system. Every organism has to play its own specific role in the ecosystem. River, streams, lakes are some of the examples of ecosystem. Biome is more larger area that includes different types of ecosystem. Organisms that live here adapt themselves to survive in the environment that prevails here. There are five major biomes. Desert, aquatic, forest are amongst them. Biosphere is a place where living organisms live. It is derived from two Greek words, bios and spera, that means life on earth. It is a topmost and complex of all hierarchical systems. We can say that it is a sum of all ecosystem together. All living organisms live in harmony, depend on each other and the non-living things. No organism can live alone. It always needs companionship to survive. All things in biosphere are interconnected to each other such that a change in one can lead drastic change in other. I hope this video has helped you to understand the hierarchical levels of the living world. Thank you.